okay so in this class we will study how to find the ideals and some other properties of ideals so let us take a question so we will find uh, what are ideals of uh, z6 now it is clear that z6 is not a field so yeah, we will be able to find some ideals of z6 the very first and the foremost ideal that we will think is the singleton zero this will become an ideal then the second ideal which is a very trivial again ideal it is uh, z6 itself right now what we will do is if you want to find ideals of z we will first find what are the subgroups of z6 so how do you find the subgroups of z6 if you know this the the job will be very easy so we will take all the divisors of 6 this is the technique to find the subgroups of uh, z6 i'll take divisors of 6 as 1 2 3 and 6 so these are the values of k and then i will find the cyclic subgroup generated by n by k which is cyclic subgroup generated by 6 by 1 cyclic subgroup generated by 6 by 2 cyclic subgroup generated by 6 by 3 and cyclic subgroup generated by 6 by 6 which is uh, this comes up to be cyclic subgroup of generated by 6 bar which is actually 0 bar right so it will just give you 0 bar and this is cyclic subgroup generated by 3 bar this is a cyclic subgroup generated by 2 bar and this will be the cyclic subgroup generated by 1 bar cyclic subgroup generated by 1 bar in addition was coming up to be entire z6 so we have uh, got four subgroups of um, z6 what are the four subgroups of z6 the the four subgroups are first is h1 which is the identity which is zero bar the second is the cyclic subgroup generated by two bar or maybe three bar you can write anything the third is cyclic subgroup generated by two bar and the fourth is the cyclic subgroup generated by one bar which is nothing but z6 so these are uh, if you uh, if you work with the definition of ideal you will understand that these subgroups they will form the ideal so these are the only ideals of what ideals of z6 so they are not only subgroups they will also become ideals of z6 so so this ideal we have noted down already this all ideal already also we have noted down already so what are the other two ideals the the second ideal is what what is cyclic subgroup generated by three bar the cyclic subgroup generated by three bar is is containing three bar and zero bar three bar plus three bar and what is the cyclic subgroup generated by two bar it is two bar itself then two bar plus two bar which is four bar and two bar plus two bar plus two bar which is equal to zero bar in z6 okay so these are the uh, ideals of z6 okay now uh, i hope the idea of uh, finding ideals of zn is now clear to you now let us go to the next example i will look at the set uh, the ring uh, z cross z okay in this ring i will take first set i will take to be uh, z cross uh, 0 singleton 0 let me call it uh, i and let me say j is equal to suppose i call j is 2z cross uh, z okay le let us look at these two sets i and j so my first question is is this i forming an ideal of r so clearly if you observe that z cross singleton zero means uh, what is the meaning of z cross singleton zero it is a collection of all the pairs where first element is any integer and second in entry has to be second coordinate has to be zero so this is nothing but z cross zero what is z cross z z cross z means the first coordinate has to be any integer m and second coordinate is also allowed to be any integer so m and n are again here what integer so clearly i observe that z cross singleton zero is a subset of z cross z right so actually this is nothing but what this is your uh, this is like your x axis the second coordinate is zero and first coordinate is any number okay so this clearly says that z cross singleton zero is obviously a sub subset of what z cross z right here yeah, pictorically if you try to uh, look at this uh, pictorically how does z cross z look z cross z actually looks like zero zero uh, one zero two zero three zero four zero and i will 
plot these points okay and then 0 1 0 2 0 3 these are the points that i'm showing you of z cross z 1 2, 2 uh, 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 3 and they can be positive negative anything because you are allowing the first and second coordinate to be both positive and negative anything is allowed okay but except these lines these lines are not there so this set that i have shown you is actually the set what this set is nothing but z cross z so you can now visualize what is z cross z who is this point this point is zero zero this point is one zero in between real numbers are not there you are just looking at this integer point these are discrete set of points okay out of which out of which if i try to show what is z cross zero now you can now clearly see this set what who is z cross zero z cross zero is something like this see it is actually this let me just show you with some different ink lay. so these are the these are this these are the points 10 0, 2, 0 3 comma 0 4 comma 0 this is minus 1 comma 0 minus 2 comma 0 minus so this all this set this set is actually what this set is z cross singleton zero do you see that z cross singleton zero is a subset of what is a subset of z cross zero right so the thing is that if i want to show that it is an ideal or if i want to check that it is an ideal i will first take any element in z cross zero right this is the definition of ideal right and i will take any element of the ring who is the ring the ring is z cross z suppose i take the element is suppose uh, m comma zero in the ideal z in, in the set z cross zero and if i take r to be an element of say r uh, p comma q which is in the set z cross z then what is a into r this will mean that what is m comma zero multiplied by p comma q the multiplication is component wise so m into p will come here and the second coordinate will become what the second coordinate will become zero so this is a into r does this element belong to z cross zero uh, this element obviously belongs to z cross zero because the second entry is what the second entry is zero and and what about ra the ring is commutative z cross z is commutative so ra will be equal to ar so ra is also in z cross zero ar is also in z cross zero this means that z cross zero is an ideal of uh, what ideal of z cross z the second example that it took is a uh, j what was j j was 2z cross z so take any element uh, can you uh, can you visualize what is 2z cross z means it is a set of all elements which are even here okay and any entry the second coordinate can be any entry so m is any integer k is also any integer k and therefore 2k automatically becomes an even integer so if i take an element a which is of the form 2k comma m in the set j and if i take r to be any p comma q in the set ring r which is z cross z okay then what is a into r then it is be it will be 2k m multiplied by p comma q and this will become how much 2k p comma m q this element is even this is any and arbitrary integer so this is in 2z this element is in z and therefore this coordinate pair this pair will obviously go in what 2z cross z and therefore ar and similarly ra both are belonging to 2z cross z and therefore 2z cross z will become an ideal of z cross ideal of z cross z okay let us see the next question now now i'm going to take a set which is uh, i'm going to call it say i which is a collection of all pairs which is x comma x means the first coordinate and the second coordinate is going to be the same this x is the integer okay and uh, i'm going to uh, say that this i is a subset of what 
this i is a subset of z cross z can you imagine this particular set um, geometrically what is this set all the chords have uh, x coordinate and y coordinate equal means what means i'm talking about 0 0 then i'm talking about 1 1 then i'm talking 2 2 i'm talking minus 1 minus 1 i'm talking minus 2 minus 2 so this is this set that i'm showing you these blue colored circles i'm showing you that set is actually the set uh, i that i have told you it is the set of all pairs x comma x such that x is an integer okay clearly do you see that these you know, this set i the points of the collection of these points is nothing but a subset of what is a subset of z cross z so what am i interested in i am interested in a, is that is this i an ideal So again, I will do the same strategy. I will choose one person from this set. So I will say, let A belong, A be, suppose uh, M comma M belong to the set I, which, so both the coordinates are same. And let me choose any arbitrary element from the ring Z cross Z. So I'm calling that arbitrary element P comma Q, which is in Z cross Z. What is the product? What is A into R? If I do A into R, I will get M P comma, mq is are they equal not necessarily they are equal because if p and q are different these mq and mp multiplication will be different so this need not lie in the set i so because if i want something to be in i what should be the property that both the coordinates have to be the same so this means that this particular set which is actually called as what this is called as diagonal okay now i hope you understand why is it called a diagonal because it was for it it was a collection of all the points in this particular fashion right in the in the set z cross z let me remove the yes so okay so this was the set zero zero one one and we call this set as what we call this set as diagonal so this diagonal does not form an ideal okay so i does not form ideal of z cross z okay so so this means that uh, what what this example has taught us is, is that this example has taught us that the diagonal i okay which is set of all x comma x such that x belongs to z this diagonal is not ideal but what is it but it is a subring but it is uh, subring so this is a good example uh, which tells us that there can be a subring which is not an ideal okay so this means that uh, and and what is the other statement that we we have uh, understood that every ideal is always a subring why every ideal is always a subring because the definition of ideal itself is that uh, that ideal must first it should be a first of all it should be a subring right so every ideal is always a subring but this example of diagonal tells us that every subring need not be an ideal who is that example that is our diagonal x comma x in z cross z okay